2.4 will be on ecological tolerance. Ecological tolerance refers to the range of conditions that an organism can tolerate. So what they can actually live in. And then outside of those boundaries, uh, that's when injury starts to occur. And if you keep on going outside of those boundaries, um, death will occur. So ecological tolerance could be things like temperature, salinity, flow rate, amount of sunlight, um, any of these environmental conditions. And we can look at an individual's ecological tolerance, or it can also apply to a species. Oof, I know this is another graph that's just got a lot of stuff on it, but if we take it bit by bit, it's really not that much that's new. You know, it makes sense that um, if we take a pH scale and we go from the most acidic to the most alkaline or most basic, there's going to be a range in which most organisms will do best. So this um, this graph here is the number of organisms that can be expected to survive within its, these conditions. So the optimum range is where we have the top of this bell curve where most organisms will survive. As you start to get closer and closer to the, um, to the extremes, we see a die off of organisms to a point where we have most organisms do not survive and that's the zone of that yeah, zone of physiological stress and then it's going to get to a point where no organisms can survive so it's just dead uh, we call that the zone of intolerance and the tolerance range goes from the point where we have some organisms all the way to the other end of the spectrum um, but once you have zero percent being alive that's where that tolerance range stops. Um, but the preferred niche is the optimum range, just like where everyone is, is you know, mostly alive. They do the best. Uh, different organisms can have different ranges, such as with temperature. So, for example, polar bears can, they, or their optimum range for temperature is really, really cold temperatures they would not do so great in high temperatures like with giraffes. So their tolerance range is higher on the, the temperature spectrum. But also over time, organisms' tolerance can change. For instance, with salmon, they start out their life in fresh water and then will move into sea, or like the salt water, and then will go back to lay their eggs. So their, their zone of, or their tolerance range can vary um, just within its lifetime. Alright, your turn to describe ecological tolerance.